This is the new face of London. Whether or not you like this style of architecture, you must admit it's impressive. Modern styles, of course, do vary considerably. These vast glass structures, although attractive, tend to be somewhat characterless. And in the city, for example, centuries of tradition cannot be overlooked by the architect. This place, abounding in tradition, is the home today of the world's center of shipping information and the great insurance market. And this is what Lloyd's of London looked like when it opened in 1688 as a coffee house. Coffee in those days had only been drunk for 20 years or so, and fashionable coffee houses were enjoying the boom that espresso bars are today, on a much smaller scale, of course. Each one attracted different sections of the community, and Edward Lloyd, situated near the river, catered for ships, captains, and merchants. To encourage this custom, he even started an intelligence come news service, dispatching runners to the docks to fetch the latest shipping news, which was read from a pulpit. As an additional service, he also held auctions. Let's listen. Merchants or sea captains. They may have a sail by candle later on this morning. Ah, the coffee. Thank you, lad. Ah, the candle. As the flame is extinguished, the last bidder is the person who gets the vessel. Now, see what you think of this coffee. As you heard, the property being auctioned goes to the man who bids last before the candle goes out. And 25. And 25. And 25. 1,200 guineas. So to Mr. Durand for 1,200 guineas. Uh, you're too late, gentlemen. Because of this concentration of captains and merchants, the insurance brokers of the time began going here instead of from office to office. Needless to say, the business conversations were somewhat more protracted than in our reconstruction. Can I write a line on the Worcester. It's going from London to China. What's the rate, sir? 18 guineas per cent. First class risk. Yes, all right then. Thank you very much. Good morning, Mr. Nice. Very nice seeing you. How's business? Very well, thank you. Hello, Mr. Morning. Good morning to you. Thank you very much. Yes, we we like to ride a line, Mr. Worcester. Yes, please, China. Not China. Come on, Mr. Lee. Come on, Mr. Lee. Come sit down, Mr. Lee. London to China and back. How much to finish? A hundred guineas, sir. I'll write you a hundred guineas. Thank you very much. Are you keeping these days? Very well, thank you. Oh, excellent. You're busy? Oh, it's very busy indeed. From that informal, almost social gathering grew the great business organization that exists today. Thank you.